Hey guys, Zach King here with another Final Cut Pro tutorial. This is a just a basic editing tutorial. I had a couple people ask me just to go over the basics, um, so we can move on to the advanced stuff. And so I'd like to do that today and cover that for all of you who uh, just need basic editing. It's pretty. Um, it is hard at first to get used to the workflow of Final Cut Pro, but especially if you're coming from a, a program like Avid or or Vegas, those are a little different. And uh, but all have different things to offer in editing. So let's get started here. I've, I've got my browser over here. Um, viewers up here, which is if I click a clip in the browser, I can scrub through it and look at my clips. That's what the viewer does. The canvas is where it's like, you know, it's like a canvas and painting. That's your final product right here. Whatever you see here is going to be in your final video. This is your timeline, which uh, you do most of your work in really. It's just the editing, cropping, um, you add your effects into the timeline where your clips are, so that's uh, that's the basic overview of the layout here. And also, I am in a two-up layout, the standard. You can change your layout by coming up to Window, Arrange, and the standard's right here, which uh, it, I think this is how it originally opens. I changed mine to two-up. Uh, this is nice, though, because it has a big timeline, but a lot of times I like to see, color correcting-wise, I want a bigger screen. Or, um, even when I do color correcting and my final stuff, I will take it in and put it on a, a different monitor outside this one because I just need to see everything bigger. But I'm going to go back to the 2-up for now. I made my own custom layout. Um, let's open up a clip here, and I'm going to just kind of edit some basic stuff here. This was a crane shot coming down in a neighborhood. And I'm going to play through and see where I want it to start. I want to start right there. So I'm going to set an endpoint by pressing I. Scrub through. I want it to end right when they're getting out the door. I'm going to set an out point by pressing O. And I just drag this into my timeline. And yes, do I want it to match the settings? Yes. Okay, so there it is. Car coming down. They're getting out. Now I want to find somewhere in the video where um, I see a different angle of them coming out. I think it's in this clip. Here we go. So there are the doors open. He's moving. Camera's moving. Set an in point. I. Out point. O right there. This is really rough. I'm just, just being rough here. Um, now I'm going to go back to the original angle and see them run out. Maybe from right here. Maybe back a little. Now I'm using my my home and end arrows here to scrub through frame by frame. I'm gonna take it in right there and, and let it play through where I want to. And out right there. That's good, that's good. Uh, so let, let's play through and see what we have. Also, I'm gonna delete the sound just because I don't want it. What you can do is hold Option, and you can select what you want to delete. Another way of doing it is holding down the lock track. I can get into this more detail in a different tutorial, but you can lock your video here and then select it and delete. Uh, just two different ways of doing that. So I'm going to play through. Okay, car comes down. He's getting out right there. Okay, it's okay. Not bad. Uh, there's a couple things I could tighten up here. Oh, one thing I need to tell you, though, is snapping. That is very important. You notice how I come up here, and this little line, that line showed up. Let's see if I could uh, zoom in for you. I don't think I can while I'm holding the arrow, but um, you see the little two triangles, one up and down, pointing at the edge of that clip. It kind of snaps there, jumps there when I get close to it. That is a snapping, and if I turn that off by pressing N, you see it doesn't do that, and I can actually overlap and, and let go wherever I wanted. Um, and uh, snapping is cool, though, because if I find a place in my, let's say I want it right here, I can uh, press N, make sure snapping's on, and it snaps right to that point where my playhead is. So if there's a certain place you want to put your playhead and snap something there, very useful in that way. A couple other things you can do with that. I'm just doing basics out here. I'm not going to go too in-depth on in all these tools. And you can find all these tools here in your tool palette. Over here, let me zoom in here. 
this is your tool palette and this is your audio meter. Um, both of these um, should be on your standard layout, but if they're not, come up to a window and tool palette and your viewer and your campus, all these windows are right here. They're all checked because they're there, but if I take away the tool palette, it disappears. So I'm going to go back to window and turn that back on. So there we covered snapping. Uh, let's see what else. I don't want to get too in depth here. This is just the basics. Okay, another thing. If I want to pull this back, it's pretty simple. Pretty simple. Come up to the. I'm coming up to the edge of that clip, and it turns into this little slider, and you just pull it back. And it also gives you the duration and stuff while you're doing that. So if you want to be exact, that's how you do that that back and you can also do this shove it over there with snapping um, or you could also delete the gap I have a tutorial on gaps gaps there's a lot of things and a lot of ways you can delete them but you can just simply select it like a clip and press delete and it goes away and it snaps everything that was behind it up to that point in time um, um, let's see I'm gonna zoom out here I think that's the basics of editing so if you guys have any questions, you know, inbox me like you have been and I'll answer them in another tutorial. FinalCutKing.com, more tutorials there, tools. I'm going to be giving away some free templates for Motion and Final Cut Pro as well. So check those out in uh, this coming week. I'll see you guys later.